Hi and welcome back to Football Territory. Football is more than just a sport. It's a source of inspiration, passion and emotion for millions of fans around the world. From the thrill of victory to the agony of defeat, football has the power to evoke some of the most intense emotions known to humankind. However, there are moments in football that go beyond the usual highs and lows. Moments that are truly heartbreaking and leave a lasting impact on fans and players alike. In this video, we'll take a look at some of the most heartbreaking moments in football history. From tragic accidents to unexpected defeats and examine how they have shaped the sport we know and love today. Hillsborough Disaster On April 15, 1989, a sold-out FA Cup semi-final was scheduled between Liverpool and Nottingham Forest at Hillsborough Stadium in Sheffield, which was a neutral venue for these two clubs. The game was expected to attract over 53,000 fans, but due to the limited number of turnstiles, a bottleneck formed, causing congestion. In an attempt to alleviate the situation, the Yorkshire police chief, who had little experience in policing soccer matches at Hillsborough, authorized the opening of Exit Gate C. Approximately 2,000 fans entered through that gate, but the majority headed to the already crowded pens 3 and 4 via the main tunnel, resulting in a deadly crush as fans tried to escape. In total, 97 people lost their lives and over 760 were injured, with some victims passing away years later due to their injuries. This tragic event is widely considered one of the most heartbreaking days in football history. Emiliano Sala. On January the 21st, 2019, the plane carrying the 28-year-old Argentinian striker Emiliano Sala crashed into the English Channel, resulting in the tragic deaths of Sala and pilot David Ibbotson. Sala was en route from Nantes in France to Cardiff City, a Premier League club in Wales, when the plane crashed near Guernsey. Following an investigation, it was discovered that Salah had died from head and chest injuries caused by poisoning from the fumes emanating from the pipe of Malibu's faulty exhaust system. Although Ibbotson's body was never found, it was revealed that he was an amateur pilot who was not authorized to carry passengers or fly at night. The manager of the aircraft, Henderson, was sentenced to 18 months in jail for endangering the safety of the plane despite not being the legally registered operator. We offer our deepest condolences to Salah's family and friends and fervently hope that a similar tragedy never occurs again. Atsu. The body of the late Hatay Spore winger Christian Atsu, who had previously played for professional clubs such as Newcastle, Chelsea, Bournemouth and Everton, was finally discovered on February 18th, 2023, after an extensive search. His family's worst fears were realized when he was confirmed as one of the almost 50,000 people who died as a result of the catastrophic earthquakes that struck Turkey and Syria at the beginning of that February. Initially, there were reports that Atsu had been found alive and taken to hospital, but Hatay Spor's team doctor later confirmed he was still missing. After more than a week of searching, Atsu's body was found and his older brother and twin sister were present at the scene. Atsu's final act on a football field was scoring an exquisite 97th minute free kick for Hatay Spor in their 1-0 win over Kasim Pasa on February the 5th. Unfortunately, it has been revealed that he was set to leave the country, but changed his mind after scoring that goal. Hatay Spor's administrative manager, Fatih Ilak, said that Atsu had asked for more time before their match with Gaziantep FK, stating that he wanted to leave if he found a team. Despite his efforts, fate seemed to have other plans for him. 7-1 Brazil Defeat The highly anticipated 2014 World Cup hosted by Brazil turned into a complete disaster for the home team. Tears of sadness were shared by Brazil fans as Germany handed their revered national squad its worst defeat since 1920. The host nation watched in shock as one of the most spectacular collapses in World Cup history unfolded, resulting in tears, curses, and ejection. 
Brazil's comprehensive 7-1 defeat by Germany in the semi-final triggered a period of soul-searching in this football-obsessed nation. The defeat led to several violent incidents across the country, with police having to break up unruly crowds and use pepper spray to restore order. This devastating defeat will undoubtedly go down as one of the most traumatic moments in Brazilian football history, leaving a deep scar that may never fully heal. Ericsson. Another heartbreaking moment happened during the 2020 UEFA European Championships. During the match between Denmark and Finland, there was a terrifying moment when Christian Eriksen suddenly collapsed as the ball was thrown toward him. It took a few moments for the players and officials on the pitch to realize what was happening, but referee Anthony Taylor quickly halted the game and called for medical staff to assist Eriksen. The incident shocked everyone, including the Danish players and supporters, as well as the Finnish supporters. Managers of both teams were seen looking visibly shaken and concerned. Thankfully, Ericsson was stabilized at a nearby hospital after medical staff used a defibrillator to revive him. Despite concerns about his future in football, Ericsson underwent surgery to implant a defibrillator and was able to resume playing six months later. The incident serves as a reminder of the dark side of football and the importance of having expert medical staff present at games. Mac Vivian Foe In the semi-final of the Confederations Cup at the Guerlain Stadium in Lyon on June 26, 2003, Cameroon faced Colombia. However, the game was marred by a sudden and tragic event. Midway through the second half, Cameroon's midfielder Mark Vivian Foe collapsed on the pitch, and despite immediate medical attention, he died soon after. His death caused by cardiac arrest, shocked the world and left the football community in mourning. Poe, who had played 35 matches for Manchester City in the Premier League that season, was a fit and healthy athlete, making his sudden death all the more shocking. The football world lost a talented player and a gentleman that day in Lyon, and Poe will always be remembered. AC Milan vs Liverpool 2005 Champions League Final Liverpool faced a seemingly insurmountable challenge in the 2005 Champions League Final against AC Milan when they fell behind 3-0 before half-time. The Italian team had two goals from Hernan Crespo and a surprise strike from legendary defender Paolo Maldini. Even the most optimistic Liverpool supporters believed that their hopes for the championship were dashed. However, Liverpool staged one of the most thrilling comebacks in football history, with goals from Steven Gerrard, Vladimir Smyser, and Xabi Alonso. The Liverpool fans were boisterous while the Milan supporters were stunned as they witnessed Liverpool lift the trophy after a famous 3-2 victory in the penalty shootout. The day was a heartbreaking one for every Rossoneri fan. Bradley Lowry Bradley Lowry was a young boy from the UK who battled neuroblastoma, a rare and aggressive form of childhood cancer. Despite his illness, Bradley's love for football and his favourite team, Sunderland AFC, made him a beloved figure in the football community. He became a mascot for the team and formed a close friendship with former England player Jermaine Defoe. Bradley's determination to fight and his infectious smile touched the hearts of many. Sadly, Bradley passed away in July 2017, at the young age of six. His passing was met with a tremendous outpouring of grief and tributes from fans, players, and teams around the world. However, his legacy lives on through the Bradley Lowry Foundation, which provides support to families affected by childhood cancer. It's impossible not to feel emotional when hearing such a touching story. Chapecoense. On November 28, 2016, a plane carrying the Chapecoense football team from Brazil crashed near Medellin, Colombia. The team was on its way to compete in the finals of the Copa Sudamericana, a prestigious South American club tournament. The crash claimed the lives of 71 people, including players, coaching staff, and journalists. The news of the crash sent shockwaves throughout the football world, 
and left fans and players alike heartbroken. The Chapecoense team were rising stars in Brazilian football and had captured the hearts of fans with their incredible performances on the field. In the aftermath of the tragedy, the football community rallied around Chapecoense, offering support and showing solidarity in their time of grief. Tributes poured in from all corners of the globe, with teams and players paying their respects to the fallen team. The crash was a stark reminder of the fragility of life and the importance of cherishing every moment. The Chapecoense team will always be remembered for their incredible spirit and passion for the game, and their legacy will continue to inspire future generations of football players and fans. These players, teams and countless others have shown incredible strength and courage in the face of adversity. While their stories may be heartbreaking, they also demonstrate the beauty and passion of the game. As fans, players and teams, we must continue to support and honour those who have fought and continue to fight against the odds. Let us never forget the legacies of these incredible individuals and the impact they have had on the football community and beyond. Which of these moments was the toughest to bear for you? We'd love to hear your thoughts, so feel free to share them in the comments section below. Thank you for watching, and if you found this content engaging, please consider subscribing for more.